Sorry, lost my word. How are you doing today? I hope you are okay. Right. Sorry, let me just get myself organised. I hope you've had you had a nice yesterday and you have been having a nice day so far. We are going to have a check of our spellings of our next set of tricky words. Okay? So grab your whiteboard and your pen. Don't worry if you don't know the answer. I'm going to show you within seconds of me asking you to write it. It's just practice, isn't it? Practice makes us better. Right? So let's read the words first and then we can have a go at writing them. Okay? Up you go. Mrs. Asked. Oh. Oh. Mr. Looked. Called. Their. And this is where it belongs to somebody. Their coat. Their glasses. People. Could. Oops. Not that one. <laughs> that could was the last one. Okay, can you get your pen ready? I'm going to do some spellings. Can you spell for me the word Mrs? Now remember it's got a capital, hasn't it? Mrs. Mrs, well done. Next, can you spell the word Asked. I was trying not to yawn, sorry. Asked. Asked. Well done. Next is O. It's just a two letter word, isn't it? O. We don't have many two letter words. I suppose this is an, be, me, we. I suppose we do have a lot of two letter words. Never mind. Oh. Oh, and the next one is as well. Can you spell the word Mr? Mr. Mr. Well done. Next, can you spell the word looked? Look. My flowers need water. Sorry, getting distracted. I forget I'm in the middle of a funny video. Looked well done. Next, can you write the word called? Called. Okay, okay. <sighs> called. Sorry. Well done. Oh, this is a tricky one. Next, can you write the word there, as in it belongs to them? There. There. Next, can you write the word people? People, people. And last one, can you remember, can you remember? Can you write the word could? This is the last one. Could. Could. Well done. How did you do with those? If there were any you found particularly tricky, just get your grown-ups to send me a message and we can go over those ones and we can have a look at what makes them tricky and ways that we can remember to spell them okay right today we're going to do another split diagram we've done a we've done e today we are going to do the split diagram i i looks like this so it's not an a it's not an e it's now an i isn't it so we have I, then a consonant, then an E. And this makes the I sound. Sh 
shall we have a look at some words? What does this word say? Let's sound it out. P I N pine, like a pine cone. P I N pine. Well done. Let's have a look at another one. Sound it out. R I P. Right. Ripe, ripe. Well done. How about this one? Sound it out. I d hide. Next one. Oh, this is a nice one. Glide, glide. You could glide on the ice or glide through the sky like a big pizza pie. <laughs> glide. Ooh, this one's a good one as well. Gosh, I'm liking these words. What does this one say? Sound it out. So. I d slide. Oh, I'd love to play on a slider to park, wouldn't you? Oh gosh, these are really good words. I'm enjoying this sound. What does this say? Sound it out. P -r -i -z. Prize. I remember you used to get prizes in cereal boxes. That was really good. Me and my brother used to fight over them. Here we go. In fight. Invite. Like to invite people to parties, don't we? How about this one? Inside. Inside is not outside. Two more. Two more examples. They're not all the split diagraph I words in the world. I five feeding time for little birdies. And last one. What does this say? Nineteen. Well done. Very, very good job. Super reading. Right, do you fancy having a go at writing those split digraph I words now? Easy peasy. Yeah, remember to put a letter in between the it and the a. Okay, so we'll do a practice one. First word is pine. Let's sound it out. P I N pine. Write it down. Did you get it? P I N pine. Write it down correctly if you didn't get it. Then we can use this to help us. Okay. The next word I'd like to write is ripe. Sound it out. R -I -P. Ripe. Ripe. 
sun's come out. Great stuff. Here we go. Ripe. Well done. Next word is hide. Sound it out. I d hide. I need to hide from the sun. I d. Hide. Well done. Ooh, the next one is glide. Sound it out. G o i d. Glide. Write it down. Glide. Well done. Next is slide. Slide. Slip and slide. That's fun. Slip and slide. Slide. Next is prize. Prize. Can't see anything. Prize. It's got a z, hasn't it? Prize. Make sure your z is the right way around. We haven't practiced them in a very long time, have we? So make sure they're the right way round. Prize! Well done. One, two, three, four more to go. Next word is inside. 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 Have you done it? Whoop. Inside. Oh, I missed one. Next word is invite. 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 You should be getting the hang of these now. How you doing? Invite. Let's see. Invite. Oh, I'd like to be invited to a party. Oh, two more. The next word is five. High five. Scuba dive. Five. Can't see. Here we go. Five. And last one is, oh, this is the long one. Can you write, I'm just gonna carry on with my eyes closed. Can you write the word nineteen? Nineteen. Oh my. Ah, my eyes. Nineteen. Have you done it? I can't see. Can you see that? Nineteen! Well done! Such a good job. Well, oh, where's my tissue gone? <laughs> really well done! Superstars, you can have a high five scuba dive. Ready? High five scuba dive! Okay, I've got a sentence for you to write, for you to read, sorry. And then I will tell you one that you can write. Okay? Here we go. Oh, I'll point to the words. Ready?
Well done, let's read it together. I have five people left to invite to my birthday party. Very well done. Now the sentence I want you to write is actually a question. So what do we need to put at the end? Instead of a full stop, we put a question mark. Okay, and the question I would like you to write is, can we play hide and seek outside? Can we play hide and seek outside? Can you write that down? Can we play hide and seek outside? like some children asking a grown-up can we play hide and seek outside pause if you need a little bit more time I'm gonna show you the answer now can we play hide and seek outside did you get the kicking on the end of seek because it's after a digraph isn't it can we play, and also did you get this spelling of A? Can we play hide and seek outside? Did you get your split digraph eyes in the right place? Well done if you did. Very good job. Right children, that is all we have time for for today. So I will love you and leave you. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye bye.